actually do look like you have an inferior. Nice. I've got banana. Nice. So do you want me to talk through now? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to do the voice over? Can we talk through about as much as you Intercostal, midclavicular, okay, B3 directly in between those two. Get you to hold nice and still. Okay, I'm gonna be ready. Jenny FYI. Yeah. I, um, I put your phone on your phone now, so I'm gonna pass off. Okay, okay. Then, so that's great. Then you don't have just take a minute to pick it up. Thanks. Okay, so prior to transmitting, we want to hit the options button. Patient, last name. First name. We're going to get the PHN number in. insert the onset of chest pain. To do that we're going to hit CP at 10 30 for example. So now we're going to hit transmit Report. We're going to choose the 12 lead that best shows the STEMI, or in the case of multiple leads, we're going to pick the 12 lead first that shows the STEMI, and then subsequently right sided or posterior. So for this one, we're going to select 12 lead 1. You're going to find the correct hospital, which in this case is Royal Inland, but we're going to send to test. Double check with your partner, confirmed right hospital. And we're going to send. Hold still. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to transmit. Uh, if we're unsure on findings, we can transmit to clinical uh, for consult with a paramedic specialist. We're going to choose the ECG we want, and we're going to hit send. So here's a quick reference guide for downloading the data from your LP15 to your siren. It makes it super easy to write up a call when um, you don't have to input the vital signs. So first thing you need to do is turn your monitor on. And then if you use your scroll function, the speed dial button, to scroll over to the little Bluetooth emblem, push it in. And then at this point, it's not connected. Um, and I need to connect. So push in to connect, clicked on to find devices. And then um, a bunch of devices will appear. If you're in an ambulance bay, everybody's device will appear. Um, so you just need to know the device. And the device is the uh, siren, the, the tough book that you're using uh, your siren on. So in my case, it is uh, SO5, that's my device. And when the device appears, just select stop. And then it will be here for me to select. So then I need to come into the um, the 05 highlight, select it for connection, and then when that blue light is illuminated there, you know you're connected and you can download to the tough book. So let's say you just finished a call and you want to transmit the information from your siren, sorry, from your LP15 to your siren. All you need to do is go over here to the side, hit transmit. The default site will be Siren EPCR, and then you just press send, and it will transmit uh, all your vital signs, your ECGs, uh, your 12 leads into your Siren. So for downloading a call into your siren, uh, if you had the call up on your screen, all you need to do is hit transmit and you can transmit it to siren. But let's say we were going back into, um, oops, into finding uh, a call that I'd already turned my machine off, say a couple calls ago. I'll go to a call I did um, finding a call I did this morning, so 8 o'clock. I did this call, you can select that, and then the site is already selected, Siren EPCR, scroll it up to send, and um, just like when you're transmitting a STEMI or cardiac arrest, when you download your cardiac arrest material, then you're going to get the transmission percentages. Once it's done, you're at 100% and the data should be in your Siren. So if you have a particularly busy call, this is the best for cardiac arrest and any kind of resuscitation. Um, because what it also does is it, if you event log things, it will um, download that as well into your um, treatments or therapy. So I event log everything now. And it event logs the time and the drug I gave. And all I need to go in, uh, all I need to do is go in and um, update the dosage etc to complete that section of the siren so it actually makes it a lot quicker for me when I'm doing my documentation and you can imagine with a cardiac arrest if I had all my epi and amiodarone etc and shocks everything will be event logged in here So this is a great quick, quick reference guide. So this is the first thing, uh, page one, that you need to make sure you do, and that's that pairing that I've showed you how to do it. Um, there's an alternative way if you have a challenge with a pairing from the LP15, you can pair from Siren. Um, the transmission quick reference, which is an easy, uh, easy thing to do. And then on the back side, this is how to help you um, navigate through Siren and how to pull up your um, your fields and stuff once you've once you've downloaded from the LP15.
So if I wanted to take a picture of a 12 lead, um, or anything for that matter, uh, and attach it into my siren document, I actually just have to go into the camera. So I just type camera, pull it up. 45 Alpha 1, you're now with 48 Alpha 4, Penver and Burrard. So that's what I wanted to take a picture of. So that picture's taken. And then um, to attach it to this siren, I just go in menu, options, sorry, uh, current EPCR, attach and detach, add. And then you gotta remember what picture you took, or it's the last one. You can rename it. Um, so just for sake of speed, I won't rename it, but I will press open and then that's the picture I want. Confirm that's the picture you want attached to this file. Press OK. And it will be a permanent uh, document within your siren. Now it won't print out when you print out your whole siren document to leave at the hospital. It won't print the pictures, but you can show the pictures and or um, it'll be in the whole uh, siren memory on the back end. Okay, so once you've entered a drug or a procedure and you want to sark it, that means you want to um, give a reason for why you gave it. So if I gave amiodarone uh, for the case of an antiarrhythmic, first I need to find it. <laughs> Dysrhythmia, there we go. It's always somewhere. Uh, say I got, I gave 300 of amiodarone in a cardiac arrest and I got pulses back, so I would say that improved, but, and no complications, you can leave that blank, it's not a mandatory. That means uh, your drug has been sarked. So same thing if I did, um, so let's say I did electrical therapy, um, so let's say I did a, I delivered a shock, um, I would also sark it and say yes uh, or no, it wasn't successful. They were in V-fib and they stayed in V-fib, so there was no response noted and there was no complications to it. So that's sarking an event and sarking a drug. Uh, 